Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I'm coming to share with you some another idea made from toilet paper rolls. I wanted actually to share this idea last week, uh, but I did make a kind of like surprising visit to my mommy. She had celebration, birthday celebration through to last weekend. She was 75 and uh, I fly back to home to celebrate with her and with the rest of my family her birthday it was amazing uh, unfortunately i didn't have time to create my a uh, little uh, toilet paper roll boxes before i fly in there so i'm coming today share with you some cute little idea what you can do from toilet paper rolls and because Halloween is coming and then Christmas is coming and sometimes we like to give a uh, little gift so I do believe these toilet paper rolls could be perfect for making eco-friendly and uh, especially budget-friendly little cute boxes. I do love to create uh, stuff in vintage style. That's why for today I'm going to be using again uh, vintage style or I'm going to be creating vintage style. And for getting into vintage colors, I'm going to be using this beautiful rustic brown color from Spectrum Noir for creating vintage look on my uh, toilet paper rolls. I'm gonna be also using stamps. I do have here a few stamps from uh, Tim Holtz. That's these stamp collections. I'm gonna flip them this way. So I do have field notes, um, tidbits and uh, eccentrics. And I do have also some collections from some pool. That's these. And this one. And I do have also a collection from Taylor Made Journals, this passport. So I'm going to mix them much, mix them all together. And I'm going to be using mix and match of these stamps just to create, you know, some decorative elements then uh, i'm gonna be for stamping i'm gonna be using a black archival ink from rangel uh, i'm gonna be using of course scissors ruler this uh, scoring tool which has ball uh, ball point on the end bone folder and i'm gonna be creating closure by using eyelet and string and because my uh, crocodile doesn't push these eyelets totally flat i do have here prepared my hammer so i can hammer it a little bit down so those eyelets will get flat and of course uh, i forgot <laughs> i'm gonna be using also glue you can use a hot glue gun it will be much more fast to glue these boxes together but i'm gonna be using this uh, pva glue it's it will take just a slightly uh, longer time but not too much so what to do or or how to make these boxes i hope i came up with really easy uh, way how you can create your boxes you don't need all this stuff which I showed you, you can create only simple boxes and maybe use um, acrylic paint or um, markers and create some decorations on your boxes. So first what I'm going to do, I'm going to flatten that toilet paper roll this way. And then here I would like to create box which has uh, sides one centimeter for that i do have here my ruler i'm gonna put that ruler here one centimeter and i'm gonna make a mark here one centimeter and here one centimeter and i'm gonna score this if you don't have scoring tool like this you can use scissors and kind of press it score it with scissors then you will fold your toilet paper roll in that score line and burnish the other side with this we just created base for the box like this with one centimeter sides 
Now I'm gonna get up my ruler and I'm gonna make marks again. Here I'm gonna place my ruler on three centimeters and I'm gonna make a mark on one centimeter here and zero. And again, one centimeter here and zero, which means two centimeters from the edge and three centimeters from the edge. Again, and again, two centimeters from the edge and three centimeters from the edge. I made marks. Here I'm gonna score again. Both of these lines. And I'm gonna do same on that other side. Just to make kind of like wrap all around exactly same placing my roll on three centimeters here one centimeter and zero one centimeter and zero and again i'm gonna score these gonna just have a look if it looks straight and straight good now I'm gonna get up my scissors and cut here this line down to that second score line here and here on this side down to that second score line I'm gonna get up these smaller scissors and I'm gonna cut this where I do have both sides here I do have just this one without those sides that's gonna stay together with that rest and this with these two sides I'm gonna cut off this I'm gonna cut off like this i'm gonna grab this leftover grab my ruler here you can see that one score line we did here i'm gonna keep it there i'm gonna lift it up a little bit grab my ruler slide it here and make a mark one centimeter one centimeter and draw a line lift it up and from this kind of like off cut I'm gonna cut off these sides here and here and with this cutting we do have prepared everything we need for creating the little cute little box if i will lift up these two sides and i will glue it here i do have bottom of my box and here i do have flap of my box now i don't like these sharp corners so i'm gonna grab my scissors and just Cut with these scissors those corners if you do have corner punch paper punch you can punch those corners with corner paper punch i'm gonna cut these corners here as well and before i will glue it together i'm gonna actually use my distress inks and also stamps and make this look vintage so first i'm gonna distress it with that fantasy uh, rustic brown alcohol ink i'm using this cube uh, i'm waiting for my new bunch of cubes and i will actually make a video how i am preparing these because i i i'm receiving loads of questions about my tool uh, i'm using this one especially this it's from 2017 and it's still same it's without any kind of like big change and I really like it uh, to use this one, but uh, true is you have to prepare it uh, for for your work. It's not like 
just uh, take it and do stenciling or you know do distressing with this tool you have to prepare it to make sure that it will actually work so and it's nothing too complicated you just need to sand those edges to make it softer so that's that's all what you need to do but because I'm receiving loads of questions, I decided to actually do a video step by step how I do prepare my uh, distressing tool. So I'm gonna uh, sand, I'm gonna <laughs> distress my pieces from a toilet paper roll with this distressing ink. And I'm done with my toilet paper rolls. As you can see, I did in a, the brown color. And I did use this uh, rustic brown ink from Spectrum Noir. Here I did use blue ink. This one, uh, it's... Oh, I don't have my reading glasses. Uh, parakeet. If I'm reading right, parakeet. I should have a look this way. Okay, parakeet. Yeah, so that's <laughs> what I used here and then on the edges again this rustic brown and I did this beautiful distressing and then on these I did use this green topaz from Spectrum Noir and again on the edges I did use that rustic brown. So that's the inks I used to color my uh, toilet paper rolls and prepare them for stamping. Now I'm going to be using... Uh, stamping block acrylic block this black jet black ranger archival ink and i'm gonna be using my stamps which i did show you stamps from tim holtz and stamps from sample and stamps from uh, made by tyler made journals these are passports this is uh, signatures from the past one this is um dates from the past and i'm missing few of them i need to find them where they dropped off these are dates from the past two and these tim Holtz stamps and i'm gonna be uh, making some stamping i'm gonna grab my stamping tool and do stamping because i don't know what to talk through to that process i will put some nice music in the background and hopefully you will enjoy it.
I do have uh, stamped my little uh, toilet paper rolls. I didn't uh, take a video of all of them. That will be very, very boring. I will show you each of them in the end. Now I'm going to grab one and show you next steps. So maybe you saw in that video that I'm trying to have a look how it will look when it's put together. So now we will start to put it together. I'm going to be using PVA glue, but you can use hot glue gun and use for gluing hot glue gun. If you are sure that you will be fast enough to, um, to place your bottoms of these boxes the right way. So close the lid, make these sides nice and even and slide the bottom around that uh, edge. Here, as you can see, I did stamping on both parts. So once it's glued together, it will make actually a nice picture. And with this easy putting together, you will have base of your box. Uh, because I'm using that PVA glue, I need to wait here and I need to hold it a little bit longer to make sure that my uh, piece of that toilet paper roll will get glued here on the bottom. But if you are using that hot glue gun, you are prob probably already glued all together. So you can continue with another box if you do have more. Uh, I'm going to glue this way all of my boxes. Here you can see how colored <laughs> boxes can look like. I'm going to have a look which one I want to have at the front. This or this this i think this one yeah and i didn't put pictures on most of these uh, at the back just on some of them um yeah i i didn't think that it's you know uh, it has to be there but if you want you can do uh, stamping on all sides or you can use some decorative paper to decorate it and again, I'm going to hold it again, close the lid, make this side and this side uh, straight and then glue that extra piece around the bottom of your box. If you are using PVA glue like I do, hold it for time long enough to give that glue chance to get stick over the edges uh, or on that cardstock and then move to another box so i'm gonna continue with my boxes and once i do have glued all these bottoms to my boxes i will come back and i will show you next step uh, i do have all boxes glued and very next step with every single of these boxes is to poke the hole in the uh, the flap you don't have to do this step if you don't want to put there any closure, but I would like to have their string closure. So I'm going to poke the hole using my crocodile in the middle of the flap. I'm going to just kind of ish. Where is the Y? Somewhere there. Poke the hole and get up one eyelet and piece of string. I'm going to slide the string, put an eyelet, fix the eyelet. And now I'm going to use the hammer just to slot it a little bit down. Cut the extra. And now I'm going to wrap the string a few times around the box and cut it off here on the end i can hang some a little tack or maybe some beads something what will help me to you know to find that end of the string and this way i'm gonna do every single one of these boxes again find the middle of the flap poke there the hole grab the eyelet 
and fix the string. And this is my little bunch of uh, boxes made from toilet paper rolls. They are not huge, but they are nice spaces, uh, little boxes. So I do believe some small uh, treats can be put inside, maybe sort out nails. I mean, what is it? Nails? Niles? <laughs> screw heads, screw, you know, all these little things in a workshop. These boxes could could be really wonderful for paper scraps, for sorting our uh, little labels and paper punches, uh, I mean, punched papers. So these are my little boxes. I'm going to show you slowly uh, my stamping on each of them. And as I said, it's a mix of uh, Tim Holtz, Sample and Tyler made journals stamps. And I really love the look, the vintage look of these. You can wrap it also this way. And if here on the end will be some a little tack, I can slide it behind like this. And with that, it will be locked. So I do have stamping on the flap, on the sides. And these boxes look really beautifully vintage. And as I said, you can also use maybe some decorative paper here because I didn't like my stamping, which I made here on this spot. Uh, I used some uh, little images and I glued them there. And also I used washi tape. I glued the washi tape here, little label here. Added some stamping. And I do have my a little decorated box made from toilet paper roll. And because toilet paper rolls are in different sizes, also my boxes are in different sizes. So with upcoming uh, Halloween, you can create cute little trick or treat boxes. You can use your Halloween stamps, uh, dice, maybe for butts and decorate with uh, some Halloween dice. These cute little boxes. So these are uh, Tyler made journals, I think. Passport uh, stamps. This is Tim Holtz stamp. So as you can see, they are working all together. This is also that passport stamp from Tyler My Journals. Tim Holtz and Sample. So it's mix all kind of stamps. Like this. And last three so if you will have a bunch of toilet paper rolls and you don't want to throw them to the bin and you don't want to create maybe some pockets which i shared a not long time ago from toilet paper rolls this could be another cute creation what you can do from toilet paper rolls so that's all my sharing for today. Thank you so much for joining me today and spending your time with me. I hope you did enjoy it and I really hope you will try this uh, creation. If you will try it and you want to share uh, what you made with me, please uh, tag me to your post if you do have social media. Or you can link your post here in, in comments so everyone can go to have a look. I don't mind that. I'm okay with that. Uh, if you think that your friends or family will like this uh, this video, please share the link for that video with your friends and family. I will appreciate that very, very much. Thank you all for joining me today. I wish you a beautiful day. Take care of yourself and I will come back soon. Bye.